My name is Monty Barcino. I'm a magician, but you probably already knew that. Okay, I'm gonna stop bragging about myself now since that's what got me in this mess in the first place. But before I get to that, let's start my story back to when it first happened, which was in my dressing room backstage. I can't believe we're going to see 50 Yeah, I'm on the call. I'm going to have my book. I can't believe I'm backstage with you, Monty! Yeah, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Please, please, take a seat. So, tell me, what's your name then? Kirsty. Kirsty? Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Kirsty. So, tell me, Kirsty, what would you like to know then, since you're here right now? Well, I've always been into magic, and I'd love to be a magician when I'm older, so I was wondering if you could teach me a few tips and tricks. Hmm, well, magic and the whole art of illusion isn't just something you can learn, you know, overnight like that. No, it takes years of experience, and luckily for me, that's exactly what I've had. I've been doing this since I was your age, heck, even younger. I've grown up with learning magic, thanks to my older sister that I had, who taught me all my tricks and stuff which you've seen me perform. Now, are you seriously telling me that you could probably learn 20 years of experience in under 10 minutes, right here, right now. Well no, but I was wondering if you could teach me some of the simple tricks like the coin in the ear or something. Yeah, magic is great because the great thing about it is it's learning. It's part, it becomes part of your life and you can't just learn that like that. Look kid, I'm going to be completely honest with you. In this type of industry, you've either got it or you ain't. Alright? I'm just going to be completely honest here. Like I said, I've had 20 years of this. I know this kind of stuff like at the back of my hand now. It's that simple to me. But to you, it's completely mind-blowing. And it would take time, years, completely take over your life. And to be honest, I look at you and I don't see that. The only place I see for you in this type of entertainment industry is being the magician's assistant but not the actual magician him or her self, okay? I only see you as the assistant, but hey ho, at least you get to live the lifestyle, uh, you know, just like a magician, only you won't be the one performing the tricks. Oh, okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to go perform a show now, so, you know, Feel free to watch from backstage, but listen, I'm just trying to be truthful here, you know, I'm not trying to disappoint you or anything, okay, but that's the only place I see you in this industry, but it was nice talking to you, Kirsty, nice talking to you, hopefully I'll see you around. Hey. That's when things got really bad. Not only had that girl's video gone viral on the internet, and crowds who saw me in theatres began to hate me and throw stuff at me. That was great, guys. Now, for a last act, get ready. For Monty Bassino! Hey, 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 everyone! Yes, hey, guys. are you ready for a show? Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 
was also getting fewer gigs. I was starting to become a nobody. It was only until my agent gave me the address to that girl's house that I knew what I had to do. The hell is this? Sales have gone down. Look, I know I screwed up, but I'm going to make it better, alright? Well, you know, lucky for you, we've got the girl's address so you can go around her house and apologise. <sighs> alright, okay, I'll, I'll go back to her house, look, I'll say sorry for what I said and, you know, how I was really cruel and unfair to her, alright? Okay, alright. Here's her contact details. Okay. Fine. I'll be on my way then. What are you even going to say? Something dramatic, I hope. What do you want? Hi, um, is it alright if I come in? Just for a brief minute. What? What? No, it's just I have to say a few things. It's just like Monty, what are you doing here? Ah, uh, Kirsty, hi. Um, just there's a few things I have to say. You know what I said the past couple of weeks ago was just bang out of order. It's just I didn't need, you know, you didn't need to hear that sort of thing. Is it alright if I come in? Come on in, Mom. We've got a guest. Nice house you've got here. Trust me, beats living in a caravan most of your life. Since you know I'm always on the road, on tours and stuff. It's really annoying. Well, you haven't been on many tours recently. Maybe it's time to relax. I know what this is all about now. You always just to take down the video. I'm not gonna lie, that is one of the reasons why I came round here. But I really am sorry for what I said to you those past couple weeks ago. Just my agent, she showed me the video which your sister put on her blog, which ended up getting a million hits. And I listened back to some of the comments I made to you, and it was just bang out of order. Like I, they did not need to be said. I was way over my head. Just I, those things did not need saying. And. Yeah, I really did come round here to apologise. But also, to make up for it, I'm here to give you an offer as well, which I think you're gonna like. Most of the comments I made in that video, like I said, I don't agree with. I really don't agree with. I was completely out of order, what I said. However, there is one thing I said towards the end of that video, of what I said to you which I still stand by today. And that thing was, you can't learn magic overnight. It's not something you can just learn in a fortnight. Which is why I would love it if I could teach you and any other youngsters in your local community who would want to learn magic as much as you do. Which is why I'm setting up this. Take a look. Monty's Magic School? Yeah, I know the name's a little bit wonky, but I'll work on that over time, basically. It's alright, just, yeah, but I'll work on the name. But I'd love to be a part of it. Great. But first, I think a little private lesson is in order. Don't you, after all the controversy I've caused around you? So come on, I'm going to give you a little private lesson right now. So, what do we have here? We have a... Uh, Oh, this blanket. Come on, take this. So we're gonna do something, right? So basically, you see this blanket? Yep. Completely nothing here. Yep. Nothing on my lap. Yep. Nothing around me. Yep. And then, watch this. And then, oopla! A, a rabbit. rabbit! Yeah! Oh, He's pretty cute, isn't he? Yeah! yeah. 
but yes, but to get to that type of magic, it's going to take quite a bit of time. So why don't we start off with something a little bit more simple, eh? Yeah. Hey, let's put you down for a second. Hmm? Let's take you, let's take you away just for a second. Oh there you go. Alright, oh, back in the cage. So, does this mean we're even now then? Fine, I'll take down the video and I'll put this new video on my blog instead. Thank you. So the girl Sarah took down the video, just like she said she would. And I also taught Kirsty a few tricks of the trade. And now, I have my own teaching classes in the local community. I found a place where I can stay, where I feel at home. And you know what? I finally know what I'm doing with my life. And that feels absolutely great. See you. 